I get from all of you and other readers, I get so many emails saying, here's a pastor who got arrested for something. Maybe you want to cover this story. And my response to everybody is either to ignore those emails or to basically say, I can't cover this story of a pastor who got arrested because guess what? There are so many of those stories every day that there's no reason for me to post about all of them all the time because it just keeps happening. Pastors behaving badly is a whole genre. I believe there's a subreddit dedicated to it. I can't cover them all. So the only time I really cover it is when something really hypocritical happens. Uh, and it's not just some dude who works at a church. Here's an example of that, okay? It involves a guy named Dr. Taryn L. Dames, who's the senior pastor of North Dallas Community Bible Fellowship in Plano, Texas. And I'm going to show you a sermon of his, like a two-minute clip of a sermon. I think it's like three or four sections clipped together. Um, but in 2022, he gave a sermon about how everyone has embraced sin, and it's very bad. Why are we condoning sinners? And he was very mad because he had seen Christians accepting trans people. And how dare they do that? Let me show you that clip, and then we'll talk about this. A man's physical, God-given biology can change at any given moment. He think it can and he can make it by his thoughts change or go to a doctor and have him man manipulate his flesh. And so can a woman too. We so-called Christians who stand up and condone this evil immorality, we're cursing God to his face and saying, your image is disgusting. I will twist it how I want it to be. That is what a government is saying. That is what a government is promoting. And when Christians stand up and they feel political versus the outcry of the wrath of God, something is wrong with that Christian. We're living in a place that's bringing down the same thing that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. We have legalized it. And they spit in God's face and they scoff at him. What image? I can turn your man into a female at any time. That's demonic. And the church just accepted. But Pastor Dames is not loving for you to say that. Tell that to Jesus. Why aren't we upset about sin anymore? Why do we just accept it? The perversion. Hmm. Pastors and preachers right now are deeming homosexuals. Woe to those. The government saying children can have sex transformational surgery. The government is saying this. Use pronouns to call a boy so to mess up his mind and we wonder where the men are. They're being told they're women. All right. Enough of that. Here's the thing. That sort of bigoted sermon is not, sadly, it's not weird or unusual at all many Christian churches. You've heard that before. Hell, you've seen it on Richard Dawkins' Twitter posts. Transphobia, not surprising. But this guy's whole point is he cares deeply about sin. He can't believe we are imitating Sodom and Gomorrah and scoffing at God and spitting in God's face. Like there's nothing worse in his mind than a Christian who condones sin. And it's not just this one guy either, because his church has been spreading this stuff for a while, too. This is a Facebook post they made in 2023. Parents, if you're not willing to intentionally disciple your kids on social issues, then you're intentionally allowing our culture to indoctrinate them with godless moral standards. Oh, no, not godless moral standards. Don't be afraid or delay in telling your kids the biblical truth on gender, sex, and marriage. So again, this whole church is all about sinning and don't deviate from God's plan. How dare you? That's horrible. That's evil. So why are we talking about this guy? Why? What do you think he did? What do you think he did? Because that sermon isn't weird. It's not unusual. Let me show you the headline from a uh, local Texas affiliate, news affiliate. Uh, here you go. Former Plano pastor indicted for allegedly soliciting a prostitute. 
And if you look at the article, there's our friend right there. And then according to an arrest warrant affidavit, an undercover Plano officer posed as a prostitute and placed an ad on a website that is commonly used by individuals to solicit sex for money. Wait, it gets better. On May 2nd, Dames called the number on the ad and offered to pay $150 for the full service, which is a slang meaning for sex, the affidavit alleges. Dames was indicted in June on a charge of soliciting a prostitute. The church said he was removed from his position in May because of moral failure. Okay, there's two things to talk about here. First of all, this idea that two consenting adults, who, one of whom wanted to pay for sex, should that be illegal? I mean, no, I don't care what two consenting adults want to do. All right, I don't think we should be policing consensual sex work. Uh, it's important to note he was apparently trying to meet another adult not someone who was underage. And I can't believe I have to say that, but it seems important since I'm talking about a pastor. So that's one thing. Like what he did, you can call it an ethical problem, a moral problem. I really don't like that that's criminalized, but it was a crime and he knew it was a crime and he committed the crime anyway. Now, the hypocrisy of what he did, that is astonishing because it wasn't just that he was not practicing what he preached. He was clearly doing the exact opposite because he figured no one would find out. Like, he violated the law. He violated his vows. And after he told everyone else that they couldn't be sinners, it would be horrible for you to break whatever God tells you to do. Don't break that rule. That would be horrible. This guy was so willing to throw trans people under a bus in the name of obeying God's wishes. But hey, if he wants a full service, there you go. I think the disturbing thing here is I f my prediction is that after this dies down in a couple months, he's going to try to get back into the pulpit and he'll start spreading a story about, you know, I, I was just trying to meet that woman in order to save her. I wanted to preach to her. But man, before I could start preaching the gospel, the cops arrested me like that's where this is going. But again, it's the hypocrisy of this all. This guy hates sin. He built his whole career off of that. He's so willing to toss certain minority groups under the bus. And then there he is in the news for that. I, good. Publicly shame the guy. He deserves it. I did appreciate this comment right here. I mean, you would think there is a sermon you could easily give that says, even if we don't understand something, even if uh, we think or some Christians say something is a sin, guess what? God created trans people as well. God created LGBTQ people. So it's our responsibility to love them, to understand them, to accept them, even if we don't quite get it. You could make that. I'm not saying I agree with that case, but I'm saying you could make that argument if you wanted to. And some pastors refuse to do that one, too. Right. <laughs> 